Our next topic is separable extensions. We would like to say that a splitting polynomial, a splitting field of an irreducible polynomial has many automorphisms. So, a splitting field of an irreducible polynomial. We would like to say that it has many automorphisms. Well, uh, what do I mean by this? I mean the following thing. So if alpha and beta are roots of P, then E contains K of alpha and K of beta. And I have also uh, an isomorphism of k of alpha with k of beta over k. No, uh, sorry. Over k. Better to say like this. Uh, and by extension theorem, I can extend it to an automorphism of E. To an automorphism of E. So there is one problem. Uh, there is one problem about this. One problem. Is it true that an irreducible polynomial has many roots? Uh, of degree n has many, uh, well, many, that is to say n, it cannot have more than n roots. Uh, and the answer is yes and characteristic zero. Uh, but, of course, not always if characteristic k is a prime of k is a prime number p. An irreducible polynomial in characteristic P can have multiple roots. So P has multiple roots. This means that the greatest common divisor of P with its derivative is not 1. Well, in characteristic 0, this cannot happen. And characteristic zero, this is never the case when P is irreducible. Well, just because uh, if you are not prime to an irreducible element, you should be divisible by it. But this is, of course, impossible since the degree of the derivative is strictly less than the degree of P. And P is non, P prime is non-zero when P is non-constant. Uh, so, uh, P does not divide P prime. In characteristic P, P prime can vanish. And then uh, this GCD can be equal to P. Well, 
equal to the big P, right? Not to the characteristic, of course, but to the polynomial P. <clears throat> the GCD is a polynomial. Well, how can P prime vanish? Uh, P prime vanishes exactly when P is a polynomial in x to the power p. That is to say, p is the sum of a i x to the power i with a i non-zero only if i is a power of p. Uh, well, no, not a power of p, if i is divisible by p. So let me then take r maximal h such that p is a polynomial in x to the power p to the power h. Uh, that is a i uh, is zero whenever p to the power h does not divide i. <coughs> Okay, then I can write P of X as a polynomial Q of X to the power P to the power R. And Q is not a polynomial in X to the power P anymore. So Q prime is non-zero in particular. Uh, Q is prime with Q derivative uh, and Q does not have multiple roots. Uh, and in addition, all roots of P has sorry, have multiplicity uh, p to the power r. Well, let me formulate it as a proposition. Proposition, I think I did not have propositions today yet, so this is proposition one. Of course, the proof is completely trivial. <clears throat> uh, so, um, all roots of P have multiplicity P to the power R. Well, in fact, it's easy to see if lambda is a root of P, then P is X minus lambda times, I don't know, R. Uh, and then mu, which is lambda to the p to the times uh, to the, uh, lambda to the power p to the power r is a root of q so q of y is y minus lambda to the power p to the power r times uh, i don't know times s uh, where <coughs> lambda is not a root of s uh, and then we'll just set y equal to x to the power p to the power r. Uh, so we know that uh, p of x is what? x to the power p to the power r minus lambda to the power p to the power r times 
are times s of x to the power p to the power r and this is exactly x minus lambda to the power p to the power r uh, and lambda is not a root of uh, this okay so we know that multiplicity of lambda is p to the power <clears throat> so let me give a definition let p a polynomial over k be irreducible then it is called separable Uh, if it is prime to its derivative, so it does not have multiple roots. Uh, the separable degree of P, separable degree of P, is the degree of Q is above. Uh, and the degree of inseparability of P uh, is, of course, the degree of P over the degree of Q. So this is this famous P to the power R. Uh, and P is called purely inseparable. if the degree of p is equal to the degree of inseparability of p well then of course p is just x to the power p to the power r minus a hmm? and uh, an element of a field extension of an algebraic field extension is called separable or purely inseparable if its minimal polynomial has this property. Definition. If L is an algebraic extension of K, then uh, alpha in L is called separable or purely inseparable over K if its minimal polynomial has this property. <clears throat> well, let me formulate a proposition, proposition 2, which is obvious in fact. If alpha is separable over k, then the cardinality of the set of homomorphisms over k of k of alpha into a fixed algebraic closure k bar is equal to the degree of its minimal polynomial. And if alpha is not necessarily separable in general, this number is equal to the separable degree of this minimal polynomial. Well, the proof is obvious because the separable degree is just the number of distinct roots of this minimal polynomial and we can send alpha into any of those roots. 